Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to Hella Jam. Today, I'm so excited to show you our bedroom makeover. And this could not have been done without our friends over at Floyd. Thank you so, so much for gifting us this beautiful bed. So pumped to team up with them because guys, they just changed our bedroom from a depressing little hole <laughs> to this elevated, amazing space that definitely fits our relationship. It's like, it mirrors our vibe. So without further ado, let's get started. Here we go. Bedroom makeover, let's go. This is the bedroom before. Wish us luck. Work, 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 work. Our bed used to be pushed against that wall like that. And then we had one night stand here. The mattress has been on the floor this entire time. We've been here for how many months? Four months, almost four months. This is the mess though. What? Oh, um, we should pull, we should pull. Holy shit. That's that was so heavy. Okay. What? How'd you do that? There we go. I used my spine and that was a bad idea. Don't use your spine. Spine bad. My name is Big Belly. My name's Ladybug. Because <laughs> at first when I bought these, I thought they were ladybugs. They're like little fruit. So excited to get all jammed shit off of this. <laughs> Jesus. Guys, I'm the messy one in the relationship. <laughs> Sifano's very clean. Very clean. I'm a textbook creative. Wait, this is yours. Like a very much hot mess. At all times. We just moved into this new home and that's when my postpartum depression hit. And um, my bedroom was my place to just curl up in a ball and cry and feel this immense amount of sadness. And I'm so happy to finally, finally, finally make this place feel like a sanctuary and it truly does. It's fresh, it's airy, it's very minimal and clean and the feng shui and the flow of the bedroom just makes my heart so incredibly happy. When it comes to decorating my home, I never really know what type of vibe I'm going for. I know little pieces here and there. I usually pick pieces that really speak to me and spark joy. But I never really know how my bedroom is going to look until I start moving furniture around and until I start playing around with just kind of getting in there, getting my hands dirty. So what I loved from our last place is this hanging globe. I got that from Ikea. This bed is like an elevated modern. It's not mid-century modern. It kind of reminds me of this like sleek 80s feel. I absolutely love it and I do like how it's a lighter wood. What's really cool about Floyd is it's sustainable. It's super easy to assemble and it's made in Detroit. So you are supporting American made goodness. Ding! <laughs> Pole vault. Gotta work on that. My best friend is this amazing, the most creative person I've ever met and she made this piece. I showed her things that inspired me and she just kind of went for it and I feel like it just ties our bedroom so beautifully from like the beautiful lights, the hue lights, the rattan, the orange, and then also like mixing the different types of woods, the blues, everything about this space is just so Zen. It's so zen and it's so clean. We picked up this paper at Hobby Lobby and then we also picked up this pipe from this copper pipe from Home Depot. Super easy as well as like little hooks. I'm okay with metals not matching or wood not matching. I feel like 
with fashion, you don't have to always match. I actually like mixing and matching. Like for instance, this is copper. We've got bright gold there. We have amber light, rattan, darker wood, lighter wood, bright gold. It's like nothing really matches, which is totally okay. And we decided to put the sheepskin at the end of the bed. I knew I wanted to make curtains of some sort. These denim patch curtains spoke to me as well as these denim curtains. I literally just bought the little clips that you can clip on to the fabric itself and then just string it through and instant DIY curtains. Well, bam Fun tip, if you put your curtains, like for instance, that's where my closet is, I put my curtains high up to the ceiling so it really makes it look like you have taller, more dramatic ceilings. But in reality, it's actually a very, very tiny room. Hello, a nice little mirror in front of the bed just to fill this space. Not because we're freaks, but just, you know, just to fill this space right here. And then I also picked up this beautiful fern. I don't even know what kind it is. Asparagus Ceraceus plumosa fern. That's the type of fern that it is. <laughs> I love how airy, it's almost like sweet, sweet moss. I love the leaves of this. And then I got this macaray piece from a spot called Crimson in Oakland. I jacked this cute little shell or clam from my mom. This is where I put my crystals by the side of my bed. This is selenite. This is fluorite, and this is rose quartz to promote love. This is actually Opal House from Target, this cute little throw. And this is actually a Nate Berkus line from Target. I love the little ruching, which adds texture. This throw pillow is from Target. A couple Ivy Pothos, and that is our bedroom. Bedroom makeover. That is it with my bedroom makeover. I hope you guys love our sweet little sanctuary. That is not only where all the magic happens, but I think magic of just a space where we can just breathe and reconnect and zen out. And I think that's what a bedroom should be. I'm really excited for how our bedroom turned out. Once again, huge shout out to Floyd. Thank you so much for sending us this bed frame and helping us become mature adults because here we are, five years later in the marriage, adulting. Of course, if you guys haven't yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button and like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And leave a comment below with your favorite pieces, what type of vibe you would say our bedroom is. I don't even know what vibe, um, but I think it definitely finally feels like home. All right, peace.